Good afternoon, everyone. It is Thursday, April 16th, and that means Pioneer. So let's take a look at what I expect to be the last set of league results before Ikoria cards start appearing. Today was the release of Ikoria on Magic Online and on Arena, and I've certainly been having fun with it on Arena. Uh, have not gotten a chance to do so on Magic Online yet, but we will get there. So, let's dive right in. 24 decks today. Our first entry is the In Soul Artifact deck. This is the blue-red version. And just the one Hope of Garapur. Sometimes you see a couple. I've seen as many as four. But that's that deck. Nothing too surprising in the side. Salvamala with blue-white control. Uh, nine walkers in this build. A Torrential Gear Hulk, not something you see every day. A Commit to Memory as well. Uh, but this is one of the control decks in the format. Sam M brings us Orzov Auras. And a pretty stock build here. Three Hushbringer, three Tomek in the side, three Knight of Malice. I'm starting to see that more for the full four Apostles. What's, let's see, what's a low four? What's a low four? Okay, interesting handle. With uh, Golgari Stompy. And we've got our inter uh, interaction in the side, in the Thought Seizes, in the Assassin's Trophies, in the Stain the Mines, Unravel the Aether. Good stuff. Fun deck. Lots of big stuff quick. Lucas261997 brings us Demir Inverter. And one Narset, four Jace, eight Jace. This is the full four Jace Friends Prodigy in the main. Also have two Heroes Downfall. So that deck just slowly tweaks its way around and around to slightly different numbers on most of the cards. Big Owl Sweeney with... What do we got going here? This is an interest. This is a... Is this Just Guy Fires? The Just Guy Fires Planeswalkers deck? I think it is. Uh, Chandra, Elspeth, Gideon of the Trials, Nahiri, Jace, Jace Architect. Played him quite a bit in standard back in the day. Fae of Wishes. Yeah, this is the uh, the Jeskai Fires Walkers deck. It's been popping up a little bit recently here and there. Um, yeah. You'll see it sometimes on Goldfish as Wooburg because you have Casualties of War and Nicol Bolas and things like that in the sideboard. But the main deck is pure Jeskai. Papa Rock and Tukara with Mono Red. Or is it? No, this is Black Red. Where's our Black? Scrap Heap Scrounger. It's Mono Red. It's just Splashing Block to recur the, the Scrounger. And there's not even Black cards in the sideboard. So it's a Mono Red deck. Uh, yep. QB Turtle 15 with another Mono Red deck. Very different build. Ash Zealots, Eidolons. We have Eidolons before. Let's see. Zergo, Soul Scar Mage, Swift Spear, Eidolon, Bone Crusher. So 15, 19 of the 23 creatures are the same. Lightning Strike and Wild Slash. And then no Ember Cleaves, but we've got Shock and Skewer instead. So this is a more burn heavy than combat heavy. But, you know, different flavors of the same thing. Lalauba with uh, Gruel, Aggro. People will call this, I mean, Goldfish probably will list this as a Jund deck because of Scrap Heap, Scrap Heap Scrounger. But it's effectively a Gruel deck. Again, no black cards. The only thing we're using the black for is the Scrap Heap Scrounger. And it, it taxes your mana a lot. I, I mean, we're seeing this 
having effects, you know, having uh, results, but it feels like you're stretching your mana so much just for the activated ability on one card. I don't know if the if the cost is worth the benefit. Kadun Kadunyek, something like that, with the Lotus Breach deck, and I. A blink of an eye, I don't think you see all that often in the deck. It's just tweaking a card here and there is mostly what this deck is doing. But this is your Lotus Breach deck. Ju Yun gets a 5-0 with Mono White Devotion. Pretty good, straightforward deck. Top of the metagame. Top three decks, definitely. Villa Boy with Mono Green Walkers. And three, no Genesis Hydra in this one. Burning Tree Emissary in this list. That's a little interesting. This is a little different than what this this creature package is not what you normally see in this list. I'm trying to get a little more aggressive with it. Ogol gets a 5-0 with Boros Feather. Love that deck. I think I've said before, this is the first deck I built in Pioneer. Gatalicious with Sultai. Is this? No, what is this? Oh, is this the Simic Ramp deck? Or this is Mono Green? This is the Simic. Okay. They'll call this. Mo Goldfish is so inconsistent on these things. They'll call the Jeskai, Jeskai Fires deck Wooberg because of cards in the sideboard. But they'll call the Simic Ramp deck Mono Green Ramp despite there being four Uros in the main deck. I don't get it. This is Simic Ramp. There's blue cards and there's even blue cards in the sideboard here. It's yeah, this is a Simic Ramp deck. It's it's good, man. If you like ramp strategies, this is the ramp deck in Pioneer. Usunk with Wow, a demonic pack deck. What do we got going here? This is a black white. Are we black white or are we Esper? We're black white. Uh, enchantment. Enchantment Doom Foretold deck. Interesting. I think we've seen something like this before, but this is out of left field, definitely. Not what you are uh, used to seeing in the format, to be sure. So, I mean, nobody's going to be packing enough enchantment removal to deal with all this. So, yeah, that's a thing. Underground Brazil with Sultai Delirium. And any cool things added in here? A couple Deathrite Shaman. Nothing really unusual. But yeah, this is also one of the top three format, uh, decks in the format. We've seen all three of them now. We've seen Mono White, we've seen Demir Inverter, and now we get Sultai, Inver uh, Sultai Delirium. Quatch with Mono Black. This is just the Mono Black aggro. No uh, tribal synergies going on here. But good solid aggro deck. Wartico 1 with Galia Gruel aggro. Fun deck. Fun deck. If you like uh, pushing things sideways, this is a good choice for you. Sanatomi with a Court of Calling deck. That's interesting. I mean, this is the Hel this is a Heliod deck. This is green white Heliod, right? Yeah. So we've got a bunch of different green white Heliod is a toolbox deck, kind of like the um, green white Value Town deck you see in Modern a little bit. Same general idea. You don't have quite the uh, selection of creatures for the deck, but it's the same basic idea. Mom's Basement Streams with Mono Black Vampires. We do have one, if, yep, if near Deadlands. Yep. So this is the vampire themed black aggro deck of the format. Razm Ramzamela 7 with Hardened Scales. Good solid deck. Might get some new toys from the new set. Max Attack 5-0 oh, 
with Bant Spirits. We're getting all the hits in this deck dump. I don't think we've missed a major deck yet. Ossocrat with five color Niv. Speaking of, uh, for uh, Nicol Bolas main. I've seen a couple of people doing this. Uh, it, the card is nuts if you get it to stick, and if you can flip it, yeah, you're in you're in good shape. Blood Baron in the side. Excuse me. Scarab God as well as an alternate win con. Yep, love this deck. Avocado Toast with our last deck of the dump. It's another mono red deck. This one's got the Cackler, Rimrock Knight, differentiating itself. Three Embercleaves. That's the highest number I think we've seen. At least today. And so that's about it. This is the last Pioneer League dump before Ikoria hits. Hope you saw some stuff in here you like. Uh, we did have that pretty wild black and white enchantment deck that would be an interesting deck to play against to be sure so if you enjoy what i'm doing here do please like and subscribe thanks for hanging out with me today as we walk through this pioneer league dump and hit that bell if you want to know when my next video comes up and hopefully i will be back tomorrow with a modern league dump assuming all the uh, the website looks like it's back to normal so we should be getting our lists as usual and hopefully there will be some Ikoria cards in it. We'll have to see what shows up. But that's it. Thanks for watching, and we will see you soon. Stay safe out there. Bye-bye.